here's a look. Good morning, Rams, and welcome to The Vibe. That video was a reminder um, to, I'm sorry, that video was to remind you that we have a career discovery Saturday right here. Happy Friday Eve, and we've got a lot going on, and you've got a lot going on as well. I'm your host, Anaya, and I'm here with my co-host, Janiah. Welcome back to another great day here at Eastside High School. That's right, Anaya. We've got a lot of announcements to share on our announcement segment, of course. In other news, we've got a great show for you today. Today in history, today's EHS announcements, the lunch menu, and a motivational meme. But before we begin, can everyone please stand for the pledge? 
I pledge allegiance to the flag of, of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now it's time for our daily feature that reminds us what, happened, what has happened on previous October 11th on this day in history. Let's take a look. This day in history, October 11th. In 1968, NASA launched the first successful manned Apollo mission. Astronauts Wally Shara, Don Easel, and Walter Cunningham were the stars of the first live TV from a manned spacecraft. The docket statement is On this day in 1991, Anita Hill testified that Supreme Court nominee Clarence Thomas had sexually harassed her. In 2006, a small plane flown by New York Yankees pitcher Corey Lytle crashed into a high-rise apartment building in Manhattan. And on this day in 2002, former President Jimmy Carter was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. He used his influence as former leader of the free world to advocate conflict resolution and to promote human rights and economic development. The chairman of the Nobel Awards Committee called Carter the best ex-president the country ever had. And that's this day in history. Hey Rams, history as you can see is very important. Here's something else that's important, the announcements. That means it's time for you to pay special attention as we tune in for today's announcements. Good morning, Rams. These are the EHS announcements for Thursday, October the 11th. The pre-collegiate membership and college tour deadline is Monday, October 15th. Today, the PASS group is meeting with representatives from Santa Fe College in Hollinger Hall during Lunch A and Lunch B. Passes will be sent to fourth period to students who are able to attend. Thank you. The deadline to confirm active club status is approaching fast. Club sponsors and officers should, should turn in current bylaws and rosters to Ms. Daniel by October 15th. Remember that no new clubs can be applied for official club status for the 2018-19 school year after the October 15th deadline. Please submit any applications for new clubs to Ms. Daniel by that date. Please include the name of the proposed club, the sponsor, the purpose of the club, and 25 signatures of interested students. There will be a quick NSBE meeting after school in room 1536, Thursday at 2.45 to 4 o'clock. Attention all seniors, it's FAFSA time. Join us for our FAFSA completion night for financial aid for college on Tuesday, October 16th at 6 p.m. in lab 2006. Please bring your social security number for both the parent and the student. Bring your tax return information for both 2016 and for 2017. See you there, seniors. The Jazz Club is meeting this Thursday, October the 11th, from 3 to 4 in Dr. Simpson's room, which is 4.43. Learn some music theory and play music. Bring an instrument and join us for some musical fun. There will be a meeting of NOW, the National Organization for Women, today, Thursday, October the 11th, during B Lunch, and the Right TA. We will have a guest speaker from Peaceful Paths. To all faculty and staff, the flu shot or flu miss will be available to all who are 49 years or younger. This will take place in Hollinger Hall on November 8th. Please bring your completed consent form with you to Hollinger Hall to receive your vaccine. It's Teen Read Week. This week is a time to celebrate reading for fun. Miss Anthony and Miss Johnson want you to enjoy reading in all its forms, books, magazines, ebooks, audiobooks, and more. The school media specialists also want you to come check out the new 2018 Teen Reads that are on display in the Media Center. Reading is a fun, relaxing activity that you can do for free. Please stop by the Media Center today.
Homework help is available. There will be tutors to help with homework in the media center after school until about 4.15. There are free afternoon snacks available in the cafeteria so that you can fuel up and then come get help with your math, Spanish, French, science, your essays, or any other subject in which you could use a little help. If you need to take the 4.30 activity bus, please make sure you get the bus information form from Mr. Williams, fill it out, and return it to him. Students who would like to tutor, just come and see the teacher on duty. Come out and support our Fall Variety Show. It will be held on Friday, October 12th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. It will be the only ticketed event this year. Tickets are $5. Come out and enjoy the show. The It's Lit Book Club is meeting today, Thursday, during a lunch in room 620. Please pick up your lunch and meet Ms. Johnson in room 620. The SGA Prom Fundraiser Potluck will be on October 17th during B Lunch in Hollinger Hall. Each plate of food is $5. Come enjoy dishes and support this year's prom. Students, you are not allowed to leave campus once you're on campus before school. Students who leave campus before the bell will receive disciplinary consequences. School officially starts at 8.25 a.m. Thank you for your cooperation. Fall beautification will be taking place on Friday, October 19th from 9 to 12. You will also have the opportunity to receive community service hours. So come out and show your support by participating in our fall beautification. Lunch is served. SWI Afton C Picture Day is 10-17, October 17th in the auditorium. Please pick up SWI photo package forms in the front office. Even if you do not want to purchase the package, you can still have your photo taken for the yearbook. Hey Rams, did you As you can see, we've got even more. Now let's go to the lunch menu to find out what's cooking. Oh my God. Thursday, October 11th. Today, y'all eating waffles and chicken with syrup, toasted turkey caprice, fresh baked pizza, maple glazed chicken salad with tortilla chips. And your side choices are sweet potato tots, southern succotash, mixed up fruit cup, and seasonal fresh fruit. This has been your EHS lunch menu for Thursday. <laughs> Before we go, we would like to give a little motivation to make your day great. So, here's today's motivational meme. <laughs> oh, okay. good vibes only, good vibes only. You know, one reason we should be happy, because we have homework help. If you choose to stay after school Tuesday through Thursday, you can get help in any subject. That's good advice for everyone. Thank you all for tuning in. As always, be around. Stay respectful, accountable, and motivated. Let's make it a positive day, a productive day, and a day full of positive vibes. And as always, make today an honorable day on campus. Have a great Thursday, and go, go Rams! Rams.